good morning YouTube or afternoon it's just gone midday now we were just we're just back from shopping and as you can see we bought a new toaster the old one's there and it's dead I mean it's over 20 years old and the elements in it weren't getting weren't glowing deep red anymore they were just worn out same thing with the kettle it had started not turning on and playing up and we'd try cleaning the calcium out of it and it was just it, you're hit and miss whether it worked or not so at the same time we bought a new kettle now the kettle's rated at 2200 watts the electric taste is rating at 1600 watts and this is important okay now you saw, some of you have known that I'm testing the 5 kilowatt inverter on what it'll do and if it'll run a modern off-grid house. I'm not talking about you people that live in caves and you only need a 12 volt battery and an LED light to keep yourselves warm and your dinner hot. What I'm talking about is a real house. Modern day appliances that is off-grid. Okay, so let that sink in before you say, oh, but I can do it with a six volt one amp battery. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know about it. I don't care. I'm interested in what real people do. Um, so, oh, hello budget. There's the budget. He's just come in to say hi. How you going, mate? I'll be out there in a minute. Okay, so this is what happened. So we had the toaster on, as you can see it didn't co finish cooking, we had the toaster on, had the kettle on. Okay, the fridge was on, that uses about 260 watts, something like that, not much. Um, all the computers were on, and the hot water service was on, and a few lights. Okay, so... That, that, that was a, a lot, okay, a continuous draw. I believe, hey budget, would you like to say hello to everyone? Hey? Hey, you wanna give them a kiss? Oh, okay, so, as you can see, the hot water service is still on. It's up to 60 degrees C now, it's gotta to get to 65 to kill all the bugs. So, and what happened? Well, this, now these inverters, these DIA inverters, they're a beautiful inverter and they're a low frequency inverter. And I've been testing this one and today we went and bought some new appliances and we tested it to its limit. And it overloaded. It's still running the house now, okay? And when these overload, you just, you just let them, uh, they'll reset themselves after three to five minutes. They just reset themselves and turn back on. Okay, you don't have to worry about it. You're not gonna hurt the machines. Okay. Now the eight kilowatt in deer inverter that usually runs my house, handles all my loads, no worries at all, with no problems at all, air conditioners, everything like that. Now, I'm talking modern day homes, remember? I'm not talking about cave people or people that live in a tent and only need an LED light to keep warm and cook their meals. So, what don't we have in the house, Chris? Okay, well, that's pretty easy. We don't have any hair dryers or anything like that. Uh, simply the fact that my wife's never had a hairdryer, a curling iron. Um, she's, she's never needed anything like that. And we don't have a, a thing that washes dishes, an automatic dishwasher. There goes budget, there's another one down here. Um, because quite frankly my wife won't have one in the house. There's Budget's friend over there. Because she prefers to do the dishes herself. And we don't have a clothes dryer in the house. 
We don't need one. You know, even when it's raining, we've got a big enough veranda here to dry clothes under. Yeah, you're a funny little bird today, Budget. Eh? Oh, no. He's right on top of the camera. Come on, hop off. Hop off. Yeah. So, a lot of modern houses have even more stuff than we have. So, before you decide to go off grid and you decide to listen to the salesman and just grab whatever inverter, in, inverter which is the heart of your system, your inverter and your batteries, before you sign up for usually an overpriced deal, underpowered and overpriced, talk to somebody like me. Okay? Um, my email is, is, is available on YouTube for anyone. Um, as long as they're not rude and they, they don't get blocked or banned. And most people I'll take the time to talk to or talk to one of the other channels. Because it's people like me, and there's quite a lot of us on YouTube, uh, who just love helping people achieve their goal of being off-grid and doing it properly and living in a sustainable way. All right? And we don't even mind if the birds are climb, climbing all over us. So, talk to us before you get sucked in to buying something you're going to regret. All right? Simple as that. Okay, keep safe everybody. Uh, me and Budget will catch us all later. Won't we Budget? And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you in another one. Bye for now.